ili kuradu baso taplali gadangi na mushampla kutayazi le kushka panu na nina hushka paridaya ikano nozi karida busada luka tedi yegede zahura pakata zakunta plukonske remotori anda hushka pali na koske ne moruda ni maskumpali na mosanda hadaya love the love from your heart today Connect to him. Psalm 50 verse 9. He says, Psalm 50 verse 9. I will take no bullock out of thy house. Oh my God. No goat out of thy food. Verse 10. For every beast of the forest is mine. And the cattle upon a thousand hill. If I were hungry, I will not tell thee. For the word is mine. And the fullness thereof. Verse 13. Will I eat the, full, the flesh of bullock or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. I want you to connect to God in your thanksgiving today. God said, if I'm hungry, if at all I am hungry, <laughs> I will not tell you that I'm hungry. You can never do that. The only thing you can give to me, as a matter of fact, I can never be hungry. So, the only thing you can give to me is your thanksgiving. It's your thanksgiving. Love him. Connect to him. The Lord who is rich in mercy. The Lord who is powerful in all. The Lord who can make all things work according to his plan. Our Jehovah. Holy home. Glorious God. The Mosai. The Lord of all. Makosha. Le Rosia, Hinakoto, La Huskata, Bakunskerede, La Huska Parida, La Kuntarekate, Zanro de Masotia, Hinkaronani Masotoya, La Kote Hida, anywhere you are throughout the world, Nakota Pori Mayadeha, Hingana Masoprokoske Nemotori Mayaketani and the Haza. The Lord say, If I am hungry, I will not tell you, you, this person, I will not tell you. If I were hungry, you will not even be aware. And I can never be hungry. He said that a thousand, the animal on thousand hills are mine. Can I eat one, uh, animals, one animals, one million animals at once? No, it's not possible. He said, so what you need to do, don't pity me to give me food. All I want you to do is to give me thanksgiving. That is from the fruit of your lips. This is what God is saying you should do today. By the grace of God, time came as never before. Connect to God in thanksgiving. Let it be a grand style system. And say, Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I connect to you. I honor you. I hallow your name. I say you are God. I say you are mighty. I say you are glorious. Time came as never before. The Bible says, let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Because you are blessed, we are praising God today. Hallelujah be to his holy name. Forget about what is not making you to thanking God enough. Forget about that pain. Forget about that penury. Forget about that issue. Forget about that bad dream. The Lord can make it work. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Lord can say to it. The Lord can make it to be. Hallelujah be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. A better amen. And your amen be louder. Hallelujah. By the grace of God today, the Lord is saying, want to bring you out of distress. Somebody should shout amen to this. He said, my God will bring you out of distress. In the name of Jesus, so it is time to come out of distress. Somebody should shout the loudest amen. Hallelujah. Then Genesis 32 verse 7. Genesis 32 verse 7 says, then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. And he divided the people that was with him and the flock and the heads and the camel into the band. So it is possible there are different ways that people can be distressed. You can be distressed when you did not do things right. So that is number one you have to know. You can be distressed when you can enter into the season of distress when you discover that you want to be in your own world. You are distressed because you are not organized at the place of your work. 
You may be distressed because you are not organized in your marriage. You may be distressed because you are thinking alone. You may be distressed because the enemy wants you to be distressed. There are a lot of people that are distressed maritally. No happiness in their marriage. No joy in their marriage. Some are dis distressed business-wise. Their business is not working. But I pray for you, it does not matter how long your life has been in distress. I declare by God in the name of Jesus, out of that distress, the Lord will bring you out. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring you out. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring you out. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring you out. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring you out. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring you out. Are you afraid because people are distressed around you? Numbers 22 verse 3 says, And Moab was so afraid of the people, because they were many, and Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. I don't know who is that person, a particular nation, a particular foundation, a particular emblem concerning your life that distress your life. The Lord will deliver you. 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 Out of that distress, the Lord will deliver you. Out of that distress, the Lord will deliver you. Out of that distress, the Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, a lot of people are distressed. I've said this before. Because of their marital happiness. I've said it before. I want to re-echo it. Praventure, you are connected. You are, when you are about to marry or when you have married, you borrow wedding gown. <laughs> you borrow the costumes. You borrow the bouquet. Listen. The clothes you wear on your wedding day, on your day of your celebration, were, buried, were borrowed clothes. Do you know where they have taken such dresses to? They might have taken it to a cutting place. You can sew your clothes at two rent and you borrow at five for rent. Oh, does that have sense? And listen, your husband put on new suit, new shoe, new costumes. Your chief bridesmaid put on new things. Your family members put on new things. The pastor that will join you put on new things. And everyone that comes to celebrate with you put on new things. But you are starting your life with a borrowed clothes. Listen. Now, you may be distressed because of that. There are so many of these things that have been handed over to occultic power. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. If you have been distressed because of your happiness on your wedding day, I command in the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring you out. 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 Everyone under the sound of God say, I come out of distress. In the name of Jesus, I come out of distress. In the name of Jesus, I come out of distress. In the name of Jesus, I come out of distress. In the name of Jesus, I come out of distress. In the name of Jesus, say amen. Psalm 107 verse 6. Psalm 107 verse 6 says, Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them out of their distresses. Allah Are you in any form of trouble? You have seen yourself in that place. Trouble in your business. Trouble in your marriage. Trouble in your family. Trouble among your siblings. Trouble anywhere you find yourself. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. The Lord will deliver you out of trouble. The Lord will deliver you out of trouble. The Lord will deliver you out of trouble. The Lord will deliver you. Heart of trouble, the Lord will deliver you. Heart of trouble, the Lord will deliver you. Heart of trouble, the Lord will deliver you. Heart of trouble. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 25 verse 17 says, The trouble of my heart, I enlarge. Oh, bring me out of my distress. Oh my God. Are you in any form of distress? In your marriage, there is a distress. Nothing has been happening to you. In your business, there are distress. Nothing has been happening to you. You are living a distressed life. You are very distressed in everything you do. No happiness, no joy, no goodness, no everything has just happened to you. You have multiple issues affecting you. May I request you shout the loudest, amen. I declare in the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. I want everyone to read this. Say in accordance to Psalm 120 verse 1. Say it where you are. Say in accordance to Psalm 120 verse 1. Say, in my distress, I cry unto the Lord, and my God heard me. Say again, say, in my distress, I cry unto the Lord, my God heard me. I pray for you today, open your heart and your mind, and receive this word. I declare in the name of Jesus, out of that terrible distress, 
the Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver you. Out of that distress, the Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, out of that distress, the Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, say amen. I want everybody to know this. I gave a prayer to a particular woman far from Nigeria. And the prayer it was, you must pray this prayer in your dialect. The prayer is just a false statement. But the issue is this. Because of what? She was dedicated to their deities. And listen. As a matter of fact, a pastor, but there is an issue. Listen. If you have not been able to break out of your generation, of your foundation, they will be fighting you. Now, go up my eyes. I say, man, I'm seeing a particular so, so, so place in your house. I'm in Nigeria, in the UK. Say, yes, sir. I said, this is where the demon resides. That demon is living with you. Either you like it or not. Put Episcopal understanding on it. So if you want to join this, you must understand how you must learn to hear divine things. How you must hear to hear what is called powerful deliverance. You understand? So listen to this. It's a season of liberation. And I said, sir, ma, what the Lord is saying is, you must speak in your dialect. Every demon from my foundation residing with me, growing with me, as a matter of finding that out they have their altar there. I saw some of them in that place. Leave me. That was a prayer point. I said, Daddy, I don't know. I can't speak my dialect. I said, go and Google it. Write it there, Google it. So teach your children and yourself to know your dialect. Okay, if you are married, very important, you must know your dialect. Because there are so many things that God might say speak in your dialect. Has so many pastors. Oh, so many our country pastors that speak vocabulary. I want to tell you sometimes when we want to pray, we want to pray very, very covenanted prayer. We switch our dialect. You must understand that. Hear this. We will speak in our dialect to connect. But when we come, we begin to speak to you. Why? Because of so many people that come from different ethnic groups. But hear this. When God is giving you understanding to speak in your dialect, it's a very great way. And you must understand that. So I pray for you today. Paraventure, there is a particular power holding you to ransom that caught distress in your life and your family. May I request you shout amen to this. Let the power bow. In the name of Jesus, bow. In the name of Jesus, bow. In the name of Jesus, bow. Don't forget, this rest cause fear. And fear also have torment. When fear comes into the heart of any man, you will not be able to grow like other ways you're supposed to grow. There will be trouble everywhere in your life. There will be, your life will never be stable. There will be sorrow. There will be siege. There will be heblem. There will be embargo. A lot of things will be happening. Are you in any siege of sickness? The package it in your body. Are you in any siege of rise and fall? The package it in your body. Are you in any siege that the devil has said you must remain here? May I request you say amen to this. I pray in the name of Jesus. My God will deliver you. 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 Deliver you, deliver you. Say, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, deliver me out of this mess. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, deliver me out of siege. In the name of Jesus, shout the loudest, amen. In accordance with Isaiah 25, verse 4, the word of the Lord say, For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in, in his distress. Look at this word. Look at this word. Very important. You have become, oh, this word should bless somebody now. This word, I want to use this word to declare over somebody. He said, for thou, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 4. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, and strength to the needy in the distress, a refuse from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible one is as a strong agent, the war. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. 
Nakosha Pararaba. According to verse 5 of that scripture, he said, Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers. Hey, hey, every noise of strangers in your life, in your environment. I command in the name of Jesus, let the power of God silence them in the name of Jesus. Silence them in the name of Jesus. Silence them in the name of Jesus. Voice of stranger, noise of strangers against your life. Every power that distresses you, that distresses your family, that distresses your home, let the power of God scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them in the name of Jesus. Scatter them, 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 scatter them. In the name of Jesus, say Amen. You are distressed because you do not have money. You are distressed because you do not have hope. You are distressed because you do not have happiness. You are distressed because you do not have gain. You are distressed because there is a power tormenting your abode. You are distressed because there is no joy. You are distressed because there is no soundness. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. My God will take you out of that distress. In the name of Jesus, he will take you out of the distress. In the name of Jesus, my God will take you out of distress. In the name of Jesus, he will take you out of distress. In the name of Jesus, he will take you out of distress. In the name of Jesus, your womb be distressed. The Lord will set your womb. Your marriage is distressed. The Lord will set your marriage. Your home is distressed. The Lord will set your home. Your situation is poor. The Lord will set it. In the name of Jesus, your business is distressed. The Lord will set your business. In the name of Jesus, he will set your home. In the name of Jesus, he will set your life. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, bring me. Out of distress, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, bring me out of distress, in the name of Jesus, say, O oh Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, bring me out of distress, bring me out, 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 so shall it be in Jesus' name. We we'll pray, Amen, 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 in Jesus' name, glory. I want to thank God for your life. For the opportunity that God has given to you. God is the only one who can set you. He's the only one who can bring you out of distress. He's the only one who can connect your life. And I want you to know. Everything that distress your life. That distress your heart. God can set it for you. Don't forget. He can make a new order in your life. He can give you a better life. You must understand this. And don't forget. That God Almighty can give you a new beginning, a new starting, new home, new life. To be distressed is to be sorrowful, is to be in anxiety and pain. So you can understand. So there are a lot of things that cause this to happen in your life. As a matter of fact, there are lots of people that are distressed because of everything around them because it has never worked. So I pray for you. The Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. He will set your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for that, my sister, that pastor, that the devil has been distracting her, that I gave assignment. I declare by God in the name of Jesus, once and for all, the Lord will terminate every invaders living in that family, living in that environment, living in that home in the name of Jesus. And any power living around you or living with you, that is distracting you at all times. The Lord scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them. You have a new beginning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name, glory. I want to thank God Almighty for this great opportunity that God has given to us. And I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus. I want to appreciate God for his deed. I want to appreciate God for his faithfulness. I want to appreciate God for his happiness. I want to appreciate God for his love. And I pray that the love of God will stand sure in your life. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you in Jesus' name.